In this lesson, we will examine efforts made to avoid bloodshed as the colonies hovered between war and peace, and we will summarize the philosophical and political ideals of the Declaration of Independence. Colonies hover between peace and war. The Second Continental Congress recon er, convenes on May 10, 1775, and 12 colonies sent representatives to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, to the Second Continental Congress. What did they decide to do? They decided not to break away from England. They did decide to form the Continental Army and to appoint George Washington as its military leader because of his military service in the French and Indian War. They did decide to begin printing paper money so that they would be able to pay the soldiers. Congress sent King George the Olive Branch Petition as a last-ditch effort to try to keep peace. King George III rejected it, and he declared the colonies in open rebellion, and then basically ordered to blockade the coast and not let any supplies get into the colonies or out. While political leaders were trying to decide what to do about the fighting around Boston, military leaders are going to, at the same time, begin attacking the British. At the Con Second Continental Congress, Congress begins to act as an independent government, and they form a committee to begin to deal with foreign nations separate from Great Britain. The Battle of Bunker Hill. At the Battle of Bunker Hill, 2,400 British soldiers were led by General, General William Howe, and they would not back down. Because the American militiamen were low on gunpowder and only had 15 bullets each, General Prescott ordered them, don't fire until you see the whites of their eyes, so that they would be close enough to, to make the shot because weapons during that time period were not very accurate. The British charged up the hill three times and were pushed back each time. By the fourth charge, Sir Henry Clinton had reinforced General Howe, and the militiamen had run out of gunpowder and ammunition and had began to retreat. This is basically a British win. The British win the hill and the battle, but the colonists gain confidence. The British took, took tremendous losses, losing over a thousand soldiers. The militia lost about 450 men. This battle is actually misnamed because the battle itself was not actually fought on Bunker Hill. It was fought on Breed's Hill, which was the hill right next to Bunker Hill. This is a cartoon that explains the events of the Battle of Bunker Hill. Take a minute and pause your video and read through it to see exactly how the events of the battle played out. Thomas Paine and the pamphlet Common Sense As propaganda, Thomas Paine wrote a 50-page pamphlet that declared it was America's destiny to become an independent republic. He printed and distributed it from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and sold over 150,000 copies. He argued that independence would allow America to trade freely without the Navigation Acts with other countries and to create a better society. His pamphlet was widely read by everyone in the colonies and was a major influence on people joining the Patriot cause. Declaring Independence Richard Henry Lee, a representative from Virginia, introduced the resolution on June 7, 1776, saying that these united colonies are, and of a right ought to be, free and independent states. Congress appointed a committee to draft a formal declaration. Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, Ben Franklin, Roger Sherman, and Robert Livingston were all part of the committee although the Declaration was primarily written by Thomas Jefferson. The ideas in the Declaration of Independence were based on the concepts by the political philosopher John Locke. 
the idea that each person has the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and that governments derive their power from the consent of the governed, the people. He listed the numerous ways that the British king had violated the inalienable rights of the Americans. Although the term, the uh, quote, all men are created equal, is included in the Declaration of Independence, it did not mean women, it did not mean Native Americans, and it was not meant to, me to mean African American slaves either. Jefferson had tried to attack the slave trade in his draft with a slave clause that would make slavery illegal, but he was forced to remove the clause to get the votes of South Carolina and Georgia so that the Declaration would be unanimous. The Declaration was adopted on July 4th, 1776, our Independence Day. Next, American colonists must make a choice. Will they become patriots for the Americans, or will they, will they remain loyal to the British king? 